Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Businesses are reacting positively to the lifting of the COVID-19 containment measures. They are expecting a boost in economic activity, although cautioning that there are still some risks. Two years into the COVID-19 pandemic, and at least for now, the tight restrictions are no more. It's a timely move. I think the numbers have been trending down. We're not seeing the pressure on the health system. The Omicron variant has proven to be less severe than the, the previous variants. And so, you know, everything is in place for us to kind of move on and in a, in a better way. Professor of International Business at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Denzel Williams, says this could spur economic growth in the April to June quarter. To economic growth. So we should see first quarter numbers rising significantly because there is this pent up demand that we will now be seeing unleashing between now and, um, and I would say the end of the first quarter. Um, after that, we should see a kind of settling off, but there's going to be a lot of activities in the entertainment sector. There will be a lot of activities in other areas of, um, of business and commerce. Um, there'll be possibly be even a significant boost in our, um, in our tourism uh, numbers because people will now be coming in. Co-chair of the private sector organization of Jamaica's Economic Policy Committee, Richard Pandohi, says the entertainment sector will push a lot of this growth. The most, um, they are the ones that will probably start to benefit in the most in the immediate term. And that will drive consumption, which manufacturers have to produce to give. It will drive additional shifts being in place. With a curfew now being lifted, we can go about getting our people moving in a way. I mean, you could move before, but under so much restrictions, no, we can get back to business as normal. But while there is much optimism, President of the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association, John Mafood, says there must also be caution. Yes, it's time to open the economy, but maintain that, that um, uh, sensible controls that have existed so we don't go backwards that things are very, very tough out there. You have inflation that is actually rising. You have petrol price that is rising. You have food price that is rising. So this will also temper some of that ex ex exuberance to go out and spend now that you're, you have opened up your economy. Let's head to the currency market. It's costing an average $153.57 for the US dollar. $121.71 is the going rate for the Canadian, $201.46 for the pound, while the euro is trading at an average $170.91. The JSE index advanced by 1,620 points today, while the junior market index advanced by 76 points. Today's winners include Edufocal, Main Event Entertainment Group, Wigton Wind Farm, First Raw Capital Holdings US Dollar Shares, and 1834 Investments. Among the losers were JMB Group 7.5% Shares, Cygnus Real Estate Finance US Dollar Shares, JFP, Mayberry Jamaican Equities, and Key Insurance Company. And that's it for the Financial Week. I'm Javon Key. Stay with us. News from around the region and across the world right after the break. But before we go, here's a taste of what's to come in the Business Review on Sunday.